hello and welcome to our show, Film Talk with AJ Dean. I'm AJ Dean, your host, and I have the incredible, extraordinary, wonderfully famous now because he's been on uh, To Tell the Truth, co-star Paul Vato. Hello, Paul. How are you doing this week? I'm wonderful. Thank you so much for having me, AJ. It's always an honor and a pleasure. And thank you so much for that wonderful uh, introduction. And from now on, I could be referred to as... Uh, game show star extraordinaire that would be wonderful so thank you you're so welcome thank you our game show ex game show star extraordinaire did i do it right paul i think so it's a little it's a little length it's lengthy it's a little mouthy but you know i i think that that works that's i'm going to change my i have to change my name here on zoom so thank you we love it. Well, congratulations. And I'm so, we're all so very proud of you and rooting for you every step of the way. Hey, guess what, Paul? We have a phenomenal show tonight. We've got a blockbuster show. We've got three very special guests. Let me get right into it. We have Hollywood royalty with us tonight. I'm so honored and proud to introduce John Blythe Barrymore. He is an actor and, of course, Hollywood royalty of the famous Barrymore family. Incredible actors. Uh, so many of them. We also have the wonderful Jean Rice. She is with Artist Network Agency, and she is a sync um, manager. So we're going to talk to her, the beautiful Jean Rice. And we also have Harry Katz of Harry Katz and the Pistachios, an incredible, energetic, and fun musician and singer. Welcome, everybody. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. Doing great. Two thumbs up. Thumbs up. This is wonderful. Okay. Well, we're so honored and thankful that you are here. And I'm going to get right into it. We want to talk a little bit of the movies before we get to all the fun stuff. So we've got these great movie posters up on the screen. And John, uh, you starred in these movies and we want to talk about it. I'm going to mention the titles. And then if you would, I'm going to hand it over to you so you can tell us a little bit about it what role you played and what kind of fun moments you had on the set or any good memories. The first one is Tales of Frankenstein, where I believe you played Vincent, which is so cool. And then also Hitchhiker Massacre. Over to you, John. Okay, well, uh, Hitchhiker Massacre, uh, I, spoiler alert, I'm the massacre-er. Um, it's pretty much a uh, grindhouse inspired uh, slasher flick. Um, I'll never get the taste of Hershey's syrup out of my mouth. Um, and uh, Tales of Frankenstein is an anthology picture. Uh, there's four, four distinct stories, each one dealing with one of the original Victor Frankenstein's descendants. And uh, I, I played the lead in story two. And uh, Don Glute, who directed the film, who, by the way, is my age and and financed the film by selling off his comic collection. When I was a kid, I had a $20 a month budget to spend on 12 cent comic books. And I read every one and threw them away because I am a complete idiot. Anyway, uh, what, well, oh, Tales of Frankenstein, uh, Don uh, timed it to coincide with the 200th anniversary of the publishing of the novel by uh, uh, Mary Shelley. Amazing. Was that an honor? Uh, because it's kind of a little bit of a legacy there with the story. Was that an honor that they chose you to play Vincent? Well, I mean, it was a great part. And, uh, and Don was a great director. Uh, he knew exactly what he needed. And we finished 15 minutes early every day. It was the complete antithesis of your average micro budget experience. Um, but I got the part just because I ran into him at a party right when he got the financing and right place, right time. And he went, oh, you're perfect for Vincent. And uh, actually, I had, I had uh, done a film for the same that Don had produced the year before that uh, Dan Golden directed, which was uh, Dances with Werewolves. Right. <laughs> and uh, when I went to the cast and crew screening of that film, I, I did an add on scene for them. Uh, post primary shooting and uh yeah the, the the female werewolf costume still looked a little cheesy but it was so much better than the budget justified or i expected that um 
I went, gee, I wonder if these guys can do it again. And they did do it again. I mean, for the, uh, I'd love to see what Don Glute could do with a million bucks because uh, both those films, both of those films were made for less than 50 K I'm pretty sure. Wow. I love hearing that. Uh, it shows the uh, positive way, you know, positive thinking. So, um, and anyone, you know, 50,000, right? So with that budget, that's, that's very, very cool. How can people watch these uh, movies, John? Where can they watch them? Well, those are both on Amazon Prime, um, along with several other films I've done, including Dances with Werewolves and um, My Daddy's in Heaven. It seems like everything I've, I've been in lately is uh, currently uh, streaming on Amazon Prime for some reason. Very cool. Okay, so everybody check out Amazon Prime, Hitchhiker Massacre with the spoiler alert. Uh, now you know who John plays and that's going to be exciting. And also Tales of Frankenstein. Thank you so much, John, for that. And now I want to um, ask you collectively, all three of you, how did you meet Jean, John, and Harry? How did you guys meet? Jean? Well, um, Harry had mentioned in passing, we are next door neighbors. And, and he's a lovely neighbor to boot. Um, but he had mentioned in passing that he had wanted to uh, find someone to do a music video. Um, he wanted to do a music video. And I was like, I want to do a music video. Like, let's do one. And um, this was during COVID and uh, things were kind of tough, you know, to do like what we had originally planned. Like I had some other idea, a uh, grander idea. And um, we uh, put an ad on Nextdoor, which is an app and um, described the person that we wanted to appear in the video. And his uh, really dear friend, Paula, answered the ad and um, said, I think that I have the perfect person for you. And um, then it was John. So um, we just were really fortunate, really lucky, blown away. And, and he did an amazing job. Wow, that is so cool. So let's say hello, a shout out to Paula and all the rest of the cast for the music video. And where can we see it? Where can we see, what's it called? Is it called Sunday Afternoon or uh, talk to us a little? Sunny Afternoon and it's a Kinks cover and I'll let Harry take it away. Yeah, um, during the pandemic, I started focusing on doing home recording, which was only possible by having such gracious neighbors. Who allow you to record music at all hours in the house. Thank you, Jean. And I worked with a great artist who's based out of London named Cream with a K. And we want to do something to contrast her very high voice and my very low voice. And because she wasn't in town, we thought it would be fun to cast people to play both of us so that neither one of us would be in the video. And Jean um, jumped at the opportunity to make a video and we kind of just pulled from from the neighborhood and, and it kind of all came together when when John made the scene and um, it's up on YouTube you could find it on the YouTube page for Harry Cats and the Pistachios. Very cool we love that okay so everybody please check out uh, Sunny Afternoon with starring John Blythe Barrymore and Paula and uh, a great cast uh, with the music of Harry Katz and the pistachios, right, Jean? I also say that the scene stealer was my little uh, former Shih Tzu, my uh, little Liv, who passed away in January, unfortunately, but she was a scene stealer in the video. So yeah, it's, it's very heartwarming and a fun, a fun video to watch. That's so special. And, you know, she lives on, Jean, and um, we are so sorry for your loss, um, but live lives on. Isn't that right, John? Um, uh, you know, it, film and, and video, it lives on forever, right, John? Yes, in fact, uh, my, my pup who passed away about a year ago, uh, she, she appears prominently in Hitchhiker Massacre, but she helps me get the girls into the car to murder them, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Not such an innocent role, huh? <laughs> uh, I'm going to put my two cats in a movie right now. 
I think that's a great idea. It really, really is. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Kimberly Skirm, who was the original casting director who introduced me to Eugene uh, yeah. and John originally. So I want to say thank you, Kimberly Skirn, and I'm going to give her a casting credit on this show for uh, for everyone. So I, and I appreciate all of you. Um, I did want to talk to you about, you know, maybe Harry, you can uh, introduce us and in what you do and your fun projects of what's going on. Then we can go over to Jean. Take it away, Harry. Okay. Um, so I play in a group called Harry Cats and the Pistachios. We're a 10 piece rock and roll, rock and soul band. Um, it's a uh, focus on my unique voice and talking about really contemporary issues, but dealing with it in a really fun, uplifting way um, and really bringing the showmanship back to like bar bands and live music and so on. It's not just four people on a stage standing there. It's a whole, it's a whole event. Um, and we try to do as much like right now, we're planning a show in Las Vegas on April 23rd. And we're working on the logistics to get a van that people can um, buy a ticket in LA and then ride to go and see the band in Vegas and come back. Um, and then we'll be putting out our record with Jam in the Van, um, a Jam in the Van show in Culver City on June 24th. And so it's just been a lot of focus on the music. I have a background in filmmaking um, as an assistant director, actually. I've done 25 feature films and like hundreds of other things, actually. Um, I, my first film that I worked on as an assistant director was a, a similar kind of horror film um, for Full Moon Features, probably 10 years ago, um, those kind of budget range. So lots of fun in that. And then the past couple of years, especially since the pandemic has been almost entirely focused on music and um, being on this side of the camera. And it's been really rewarding and fun. And that the journey kind of really started with uh, working on this video for Sunny Afternoon was kind of the tipping point from going from being a live band to being a real recording artist and um, and more of a, a holistic artist and putting out things. Absolutely. And I just want to say real quick to you, um, Harry, that you have great um, videos on your Instagram profile. I encourage everybody to check them out. They're wonderful. Uh, cinematography, you know, uh, it's your it's your live band there, but it's great stage uh, scenery and it's just a lot of fun. So I just wanted to compliment you on that. And over to you, Jean, can you tell us a little bit about you and your fun new projects you're working on? Yes, I can. Well, um, so I have a couple things to announce that I had not uh, really said publicly yet that I've been working on. And one of those things was uh, that um, if you see the logo, wait, this way, <laughs> get confused, mix up right there, um, Artist Network Agency. I have been working on putting that together for a while, my sync agency, and uh, the website was very important to get the artists uh, showcased properly and very professionally. And now the website is live. And, um, and so I'm very excited. We are still onboarding some of the artists that have signed are not quite up there yet because we're waiting for all their materials to come in. But the artists who I have all their materials, they are up and you can listen to their music and it's just beautiful and I couldn't be more excited. So that was a lot of effort that uh, between me and the web designer, Josh Gutierrez, uh, who shout out to him because he did a phenomenal job. Also, you will see on the other side, wait, uh, yeah, over here um, is Tatiana Gross and Tatiana, is this wonderful, uh, phenomenal. You've got the legend Bob Dylan on this side and the legends of the past, legends of the future. Tatiana Gross is this 14 year old phenom. And I will tell you that she is going to do amazing, amazing, big, wonderful things in the future. And I was just so excited to be introduced to her music and her family has invited me in to be a part of her journey as in development and management. So I am her 
manager and just in development. We're in development process right now. And so I will be working to help form her career as she moves forward. And I have no doubt that she'll be signing with a major label. And I just want to make sure that she's looked after and that everything goes as smoothly as it possibly can. Because when I was a young artist, you know, I don't feel that I really had that, you know. And so it's important for me to be able to offer that to somebody else. So uh, I'm really looking forward to watching her grow. Congratulations on your website. I love your logo. Your logo is very cool. And there's Bob Dylan there. And congratulations on Tatiana. You are, you know, moving up. You well, are. Me, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Let me just uh, mention about the Bob Dylan thing because we didn't even talk about that. Um, I have to get used to that. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Bob Dylan. So I was a photographer for many years in the music industry and um, I was injured. So uh, several injuries. So it's not been an easy road for me, for sure. But uh, and it's still not an easy road. And I want to uh, give everyone hope. You know, that no matter whether it's dealing with a pandemic or you're dealing with injuries, you're dealing with pain, whatever it is you're dealing with, you can find a way to do what you love and just pivot in that, you know, just find a way to pivot. And it's taken a while and it's it's never easy, but you just keep doing it and it helps you get through those days. It really does. So uh, the Bob Dylan was a wonderful photo and it reminds me every day how blessed I was to have the career I did in photography. And now I'm just moving on to another thing. And actually Artist Network Agency was a plan that I had for 20 years. And I had the domain for 15 years. So it's a long dream coming to fruition. It was something I'd always planned. So it's, it was a part of the trajectory anyways. Wow. Thank you so much for that beautiful, inspirational message, Jean. And again, congratulations. Over to you, Paul. Do you want to say something or ask a question? No, I know. This is, I'm, I'm fascinated. I'm fascinated. I, I love the fact, you know, how, how you guys, you know, know each other, how you came to be. It's, it's fantastic to, uh, to, to get a little behind the scenes peek. And congratulations. You know, it's, it's uh, not always easy striking off on your own and doing your own thing and it sounds like it's been a long time in the making so congratulations and any support that i can lend or or aj or you know here via the podcast would be more than happy to do that or you know when you have artists that you're looking to promote by all means please come back and see us i love your logo too i, I love great logos and and great puns so uh uh <laughs> dances with werewolves also really yeah, really got me. It's good. It's good. John's, it's so good. John's amazing. I think that I've been fortunate to everything that I've done in my career. Somehow I just end up working with really great people. Harry's great. John's great. We had a really great set and directing was so fun. And I, I have plans to direct again. So uh, that's going to be something else on my list to do. So, and I know that Harry's got plans to do other things. He's looking at doing voiceover maybe he could talk about that and John's been narrating books and he hasn't talked about that yet yes John John and Harry will want to hear um, both of those over to you John well I've been doing a voiceover work since uh, well I guess it's about 1988 but um, yeah I did recently uh, voice my first uh, audio book and it's available on audible which is Amazon, just about, I guess my career wouldn't exist, or at least you wouldn't be able to find me without, mm -hmm. without Bezos. Anyway, uh, uh, it's called uh, LZ Sitting Duck, and it's a, an anthology book written by uh, 20 Marines who survived this gruesome battle in Vietnam. And uh, I read, a, I read all of their chapters. And uh, it's uh, it was an eye opener for me. They talk about the horrors of war, but until I actually until you actually read a real detailed description, you you have no idea. Wow, how compelling! It must have been very um, insightful to read. And uh, did you feel kind of 
did you feel like you had gone through a little bit of their, shared a little bit of their experience after reading all of their stories, John? Well, uh, the guy who got, first of all, the, the book is sort of like the, the Charge of the Light Brigade, which is a poem celebrating one of the stupidest military maneuvers in history. <laughs> uh, you know, um, it's a similar thing. These Marines were told to take this hill and, and they did, but it was, uh, they thought they had taken it before, so the uh, the North Vietnamese Army had had been using it for target practice. They had it all dialed in with their mortars and rockets. And uh, but um, the guy who got me the gig, I've known him for forty years. He, I knew he was a Vietnam vet. He never really talked about his experience. He was injured in the previous battle, and all the guys who saved him died in the next battle. And so he's been uh, he was carrying survivor's guilt for like forty years. Till he got uh, got me this. The, the book was already doing well on Amazon, and in the Kindle and print versions, and uh, he brought me in to do the audio, and uh, he actually wrote wrote the most interesting chapter, but uh, yeah, it's uh, you can see why guys just didn't want to talk about it. Absolutely, and it sounds fascinating. Can you say the title one more a time so people can buy it on Amazon? Yeah, it's LZ Sitting Duck. Uh, the Fight for FSB Are Gone is the subtitle. And it's, uh, it has to do with one battle in Vietnam. Uh, there was a, 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 a fictional book, Matterhorn, which is based on, based on this battle by, um, uh, boy, it escapes me. Uh, John, don't kill me. Anyway, it, uh, it's a F, the LZ Sitting Duck is the name of the book. Thank you so much. And, you know, we can all learn something about war and basically not want to do it, right? Right, John? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't believe this thing in, in Ukraine. I, can't, I thought we were past this sort of just, you know. Me single, too. Yeah. Me too, John. Me too. So our, our thoughts and prayers are with uh, the people of Ukraine. And, and, and thank you for that, John. And over to you, Harry. Um, did you want to mention some of the things that you have been working on? Um, well, just to bounce off what Jean said about voiceover work, I um, wrote a movie, a short film about my band's first show back after the pandemic, which I made with a friend of mine, Marco Lars White. And he is a director at Pandora. And so we started doing some voiceover work. And so we've been putting together a reel for that to break into um, voiceover. And, and really the, the, the call to that besides the use of my voice is um, I'm trying, since I've been focusing on music it, for me, I really feel like life is just how you spend your days, like what you actually spend each day doing. Yeah. And I love filmmaking and I've made myself, you know, valuable in filmmaking spaces, you know, I, that's my career, but I don't see myself in those spaces as much as I did when I was younger. And so I look, where do I want to make myself valuable? Where do I want to spend my time the next, you know, so-and-so years, especially, you know, with, we see all this you know, the war and crisis and climate change, you know, it's so much is uncertain. So where we spend our days is so important. And being in a recording studio, being in music spaces has become such the focal point. And so you start to explore, like I think Gene said so well, it's this pivot, you know? And so, okay, so I want to do music. Well, it's like everybody wants to do their original music, but, you know, it takes years of dedication and investment to make that your full time. So what other places can I pivot to? And so exploring, I have a friend, he worked on one of the, the, the I think the second movie I did, he's a Spanish language um, voiceover um, guy in Southern California. And he's mentored me a bit and this director from Pandora. And then you'll see if you go online, I do a lot of narrating um, things that I've written and matching that to video and just kind of exploring that on my own. Awesome. Awesome. I'm going to throw it back to Paul for a question to ask. But before I do, I want to ask, Gene, are you and John and Harry going to do another music video like you did with Sunny Afternoon? 
I, I don't know if there'll be a follow up. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, consider the fine. seed planted. <laughs> the seed planted. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun like to work with these people again. Yeah, yeah it sounds really like. It sounds like a great crew and a great team and um, uh, and tribe. And so if you do, let us know and we'll have you on again to talk about it. So that's a fun thing to talk uh, to mention. And Paul, over to you. I'm just trying to figure out how I can get to work with these uh, wonderful people. So another <laughs> well, seed is being planted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you are right now and it's the beginning of it. So all you have to do is manifest. What is it, Paul, that you would like to do? Well, you know, my, my background in, in comedy, and I think I think this is an excellent first step because I also really enjoyed learning about people. And, uh, you know, you're, you're mentioning war earlier. And I, I think I read somewhere, and please, John, correct me if, if I'm wrong, but uh, was it your father that actually enlisted, like, as a 15 or 16-year-old uh, into World War II? It was somebody in your family, I believe, that actually... You know, everybody in, in uh, my... Well, my great-great-grandfather... My great grandfather was born in uh, in India, and nobody in his line ever served in the military. But he was there were ten kids in that litter, because you know in those days you were lucky if you got three of them to adulthood. Uh, you know when they were living in India, and uh, the brothers, all of their descendants served in the various militaries of uh, New Zealand and Australia. Uh, where the uh, the kids uh, emigrated too, but no, no one, no one in my direct line has ever served in the military. Uh, and I was in the last couple of years of the Vietnam draft, but I wasn't too worried about it. Even if I'd been drafted, I would have been in the rear with the gear, because um, exaggerated, startled response is not what they're looking for in foxholes. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but, but well, you've had just such a such a rich history, though, and uh, also, and now thinking back, I'm like, yeah, of course, that you know, in kung fu, starting out so young as an actor, and and uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's it, you've had such a such a great uh, you leave such a great legacy, and and it's it's amazing what what uh, the projects that you've been involved with. So I think that's one of the reasons, of course, you know, you, you like to work with with people that are that are you know, more experienced and better than you in, in, in the field of acting. So I think that's why I put it out there. But yeah, if you guys ever need me for anything, I'd be more than happy. Again, my background is more comedic, uh, and, but I enjoy, uh, you know, learning, learning from the greats. So thank you. And he's also very kind, very sweet and fun to be around. Yes, he is. He is. I mean, I've only met uh, John through Zoom a couple times. <laughs> But each time he's wonderful. And Jean, uh, and, and John, I just want to let you know how special you are. You're such a kind gentleman. You really are the epitome of the gentleman, the, all the classic and very best things of being a gentleman. So we want to thank you, John. No, when you say special. <laughs> oh <my>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it and run with it, John. Thank you. I mean, I mean it in the highest best possible way very very wonderful very wonderful how's that <laughs> i know you do and thank you very much thank you john and jean over to you what was the question oh um well we wanted to is, you know what is new since we last spoke um what are you most proud of uh, that you've accomplished. Um, could you talk to us a little bit about, you know, you were uh, a photographer for the Rolling Stone magazine. You've done a lot of incredible things in your career. I What's think that I'm most proud of is being a mom. I have my son and he is, uh, his birthday is um, Friday and uh, he's turning 32 years old. <laughs> so it reminds me of my age um, all the time. And um, as the years tick by, I hate to admit it, I'm like, you have no right getting this old. Um, 
but um but yes that is my pride and joy um but other than that um i i would say that you know somebody had told me recently who i i mean i found these people quite impressive you know and they and they were talking to me and they're like they're like it was a group phone call you know and it was one of them was a well-versed attorney and one was, was a legend in the fashion industry and they're like we're just like blown away by your resume and I was just like what really you know and I I mean I was I was blown away at them being blown away so you know <laughs> it just it just really meant so much to me in my heart so when I hear like kind comments like that or people speaking about you know what I've done I it it never grows old because I I still am I don't know I I see I'm getting all tongue twisted now. I don't know what to say to it. I've I've done a lot of things and I think that when I think back, yes, I can be proud of of each step that I've taken. You know, I'm I'm really proud of I always put 100% into what I do and I can only hope that that shows. And I hope that when I move forward with, as I move forward with, with our artist network agency, I think when people look at the website, you'll already be able to tell that that's how I operate. That, you know, it is always 100%. The music you'll hear is all stellar, stellar. The presentation, stellar. Like Paul said, the logo, everything is just going to be as my photography was, you know, just really beautiful. And hopefully you feel the music videos the same way. So. Absolutely, absolutely, Gina. And I wanna encourage everybody to go to your website. I want you to mention it in a second, but I wanna say, please go to Jean's website and put in your email address so you can get updated on um, events and, and news that she has. And over to you, Jean, for your website. How can people sign up? Yes, it's www.artistsingularnetworkagency.com. And uh, yes, I would love that. And, and Instagram is also at Artist Network Agency. Uh, so I'd love to have you guys give me a follow and check out what's the latest on these artists and what's going on. And um, yeah, and then um, you can follow Tatiana. <laughs> Tatiana underscore music over there and follow her journey as well. And I will have a couple more artists to confirm soon that I uh, will be working with, but I just can't tell you much about that yet, but I will be soon. So it's really exciting right now. Very exciting times. So excited for you. Congratulations again, Jean. And also, Jean, uh, you're so young looking. It, I, I can't believe, I mean, look how young and beautiful you are. So I can't believe that you have like a full grown son, but isn't that wonderful that it's, that he is your, uh, one of, you know, your most proudest of. Um, so thank you, Jean, for that. And, and John, I want to hand the question over to you. Um, what are you most proud of? Oh, I would have to say my kids, you know, but uh, in terms of uh, of uh, acting, well, I, I played Hamlet in 2013 uh, up there in Carmel, and that was, uh, you know, I've played five or six really large roles in, in Shakespeare, but uh, that was definitely the, uh, that was definitely the, the big one. Uh, I guess the only thing left for me is Lear. I always wanted to direct it, but at this point, I might as well just go ahead and play the part too. Um, there's three stages in life. First, you're young, and then you're old, and then you're looking great. I'm in the looking great stage. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's probably, it's probably time to do that. Well, let's get you uh, acting in uh, King Lear then. If you've done Hamlet, and I love Hamlet and all of those William Shakespeare's, you're fabulous at that, John. Uh, you have the voice and the uh, confidence and the uh, character. You have everything to make it absolutely successful and fabulous. And and thank you for that. And and Harry, over to you, and then we'll hand it over to Paul. Harry, what are you most proud of? Um, definitely the album that I'm about to put out. And then just recently, last week, we dropped a music video for a song called No Sir, 
which was the first time I truly took the reins and directed something myself and did the edit myself. So that was the first time I was producer, director, assistant director, star, and editor. So it was the first time I did the whole the whole package. I mean, I had a small team with me, but um, but I'm I'm most proud of um growing to this level where we can turn around. I think we turned around, we shot it on Tuesday and I released it the next Monday. Oh, wow. That's a fast turnaround. That's always my pitch. It's like, we could do it, but it's got to be done in 10 days or I don't want to do it. <laughs> well, production crews and everyone, actors are going to love you, Harry, because you're an action oriented person and you get things done. So that's fabulous. Congratulations. Yeah, speaking of crews, I do want to say that we had a great director of photography on sunny afternoon and she happened to be my roommate, Yolan Hu. So I want to shout her out and and Yoli, who was also in the um, a great part in Sunny Afternoon as well. So Beautiful. Beautiful. So let's say hello to them and thank you also for your contribution to Sunny Afternoon, the video. And Paul, over to you. It's, uh, it's, I'm having such such a great time listening. It's, it's uh, great to have, instead of just one person, it's uh, you know three people that, have, that work as a team and whatnot. So I think this is fantastic, AJ. So thanks for allowing me to, to, to be a part of this. And I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of, uh, of our project here, uh, Film Talk, and all the very interesting people that we've met. And it kind of goes along with my travel show idea where I want to travel the US and, and the, maybe the world, meeting such interesting people that I've met over the past couple of years on social audio, specifically like Clubhouse and Fireside and, and uh, you know, all these other audio platforms um, that I've, I've gotten to know via their voice and then now via Zoom. But then, you know, the last step would be to, to meet people in real life. And, you know, they show me around their neighborhoods, their, their communities and their friends. And, and uh, yeah, so, so it's, it's fantastic to be, that's what I'm proud of is being involved in these amazing projects. So thank you for just even allowing me to be a part of it, AJ. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Paul. You're the best co-host ever can i say that yeah you really Thanks. are it, I mean, it's really been nice paul really nice to see you again and nice to be on with you and aj i really appreciate you having us so much oh thank you so much so we're gonna our our show is coming to an end soon but we want to have final thoughts uh, and we're going to go around for final thoughts for everybody uh just either a message that you would like to share or a shout out if you would like to give to a family member or anyone. Um, let's start with you, John. Well, um, final thoughts. Well, you know, uh, when you get to be 68 years old, you start thinking a lot about final thoughts, but let's not go there. Um, one thing that's always carried me forward in times of adversity is the fact that you'll never know what worse fate your bad luck might have saved you from. And uh, that's been a guiding principle of mine and it's gotten me through some tough times. I love that. I absolutely love that. And let everybody have that sink in. It's really about faith, isn't it? Isn't it, John, faith that things will work out? Yes, also it's about all the, you know, all the things you don't see you know, all, all the, all the things that could have happened, you know, I mean, if you'd ask me when I was a kid, if I'd still be here in 2022, I'd say you're crazy. <laughs> Yet here I am. Here you are. And we're so fortunate and thankful that you are beautiful, beautiful sentiments, John. And for all your fans and audience out there, what a lovely message. And over to you, Jean, final thoughts. Yeah, I think it's uh, just to be, fierce and, uh, and keep fighting. So um, just keep fighting the good fight. And no matter what you come up against, you know, just don't give up. And I do want to shout out, of course, to my son first, since he's got his birthday coming up. Hi, Ryan, happy birthday. And, and to my mom, who I would not have had any of this happen without her. And she's been very supportive of my creative journey, even though, you know, I, I was all about business in the beginning and, and uh, yeah, taking another path. But she's been very supportive of, 
uh, through all the ups and downs. So, um, and I just want to give a shout out to all my artists that are trusting me in this, uh, in this journey, in this path, and that have come forward to me and just been like, yes, I want to work with you. And, and I want to, I want to entrust you with this, in this artist network agency thing that you're doing. And I couldn't be happier. I'm just very, very excited. So shout out to all of them. I, if I couldn't name them all, so I'm just going to cover the whole thing and just say, I love you all. Oh, I love that. It's beautiful. Beautifully said, Jean. Thank you so much. And over to you, Harry, for final thoughts. Um, well, somebody today asked me why I have a 10 piece band and I told them because it takes me um, at least nine other people to help lift people's spirits because times can be so heavy these days and to, you know, turn life back into a celebration. And that's that's really what I'm trying to do every day with with what I'm making. And then, of course, for shout outs, I always shout out my amazing, wonderful wife, Vanessa, um, who's an amazing screenwriter. She's also in the film industry. Um, and I just she gives me a lot of leeway to pursue so much, you know, it takes so much dedication to do what we do and, and we share that. And so um, us holding space for each other, you know, eating dinner right before this together so that we can go back to our things is um, what, what makes this possible for me on the daily. You know? Thank you so much. And thank, thank you, you everyone for having me. This is really wonderful. Thank you, Jean and, and John. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, Harry, for having me as the director on Sunny Afternoon. And thank you, John, for starring in it. And I just appreciate you guys so much. So I feel like it's a big love fest now. Don't it really, it cry. really is. Thank <laughs> you so much. I am very, I'm so grateful. Yeah, very blessed. Uh, bless. Bless you, Gene. Thank you. And and Paul, over to you. Final thoughts. Yeah, it's. I think everyone just keeps, you know, reinforcing what I said at the beginning of the year for me personally, which was collaboration over competition. And you guys exemplify that whether it's whether it's it's Harry with his ten piece band, but then bringing it all together with you know with John and Gene and everyone collaborating on on your projects. And, you know, we, it's, I know it's somewhat cliched, but, you know, uh, a, a rising tide right, raises all ships, you know, and I, I, so I, it's really hits home. So thank you guys for, for uh, restating that. And, and uh, it, it makes me believe that I'm on the right path because after so many years of being in business uh, for myself, you know, since the 1900s, I'd like to say, uh, and always being kind of a one man show this year start when it started i was like you know what this year is collaboration over competition and instead of you know trying to go at it at a podcast on my own i connected with with aj and I'm, I'm a co-host and i love it you know so so we yeah i thank you thank you guys all for exemplifying that so and thank you so much for for sharing your story with us oh and i guess i'll shut i'll have to shout out to uh my family my mom and my brother who are back in, in the chicago land area from chicago where we don't have an accent uh, just kidding. Don't you have a cigar company, Paul? I was just about to say, where are Vato's Vato. cigars? Oh, yeah. Uh, I heard yeah. something about that. Vato cigars. Uh, wow. and, it's, and apparently now I also run a concierge service because my brother in a panic called me yesterday or day before. And he was like, I've got a very special client who, who's gotten me a lot of business. Can you uh, can you bring him a you know a box of your cigars? And and uh, a, a really nice bottle of vodka, like the most expensive one you can find. So, I, I, so apparently now I also do concierge service in Vegas. So, uh, and did, Harry, did you say you're coming to Vegas? Please, we should maybe connect. Uh, yes, or absolutely. Yeah, yeah. If, uh, whatever you need while you're here. If anything, I'd love to come out and support if you're performing live somewhere. That's um, what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. Wh where are you performing? At a place called Red Dwarf. It's a new yes. tiki bar. Yes, I've heard of it. I, I, it's, it's, it's new though, right? You said brand yeah, new. Yeah, it was like, it's like three, maybe four months old only. Yes. You can never have enough tiki bars. Uh, I think there's Golden Tiki, there's uh, Frankie's Tiki Room, and now there's, there's Red Dwarf. So I'm very much looking forward to We went to all of them. 
in one night. <laughs> of, course you did. of course you did. I remember getting out of a cab, probably not an appropriate story. And uh, it, it was myself and this, this young lady. And we get out of the cab. We must have staggered out of the cab to go into Frankie's Tiki Room. We literally get, get out of the cab or the Uber. And as we're walking to the door, the guy looks at both of us and goes, nope. And we're like, boop, right back in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I think it was a cab. That's how long ago it was. Because he was still there. And uh, I'm like, she's like, what's wrong? And I, he's, he's not going to let us in. We're, it's, you know, we've had too much already at some other casino or something. So that always reminds me of, of Frankie's <laughs> Tiki Room. <laughs> And it was the last place that we went uh, I, I, March uh, two years ago in March when they closed this down. So I, I had two stores inside casinos on Fremont Street, which is old Vegas mm -hmm. downtown. Mm -hmm. And they, they closed this down uh, St. Patrick's Day, the busiest, one of the busiest days of the year, the busiest Whoa. month was March Madness. Uh, so um, that was so we're like, you know, who's still open? It's Frankie's Tiki Room because we knew that they'd let us in and they were kind of open in a couple extra days for uh for, for, but before before they everyone got shut down for like three or four months so mm -hmm. great memories oh uh, yeah i'd love to come out and support so thank you guys awesome wonderful thank you i love that and always um mention vato cigar uh paul um so that everybody knows that you okay. have yes vato cigars you can go to paulvato.com or vato.tv and you can, uh, you know, anybody that likes, I can send them our blend description and we make great cigars. So, yeah, I made a delivery yesterday. Of, uh, so in concierge service, Paul Votto Cigars oh. and concierge service. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Paul. And I do want to thank you, John. I want to thank you, Gene. And I also want to thank you, Harry, and especially my co-host, Paul, for all of your important messages. And my message is this. Everyone out there, please continue to shine. Continue shining your light. Don't stop. Keep going. And eventually you will reach your dreams. So until next time, until next time, we'll see you again. And we'll always be your fan. Bye-bye oh, yeah. for now. Thank you. Bye. Bye.